Hey everyone, today I'm here to tell you about The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. So this book is a National Book Award finalist. It's a YA novel. It's about Natasha Kingsley, a Jamaican girl who has immigrated, or she immigrated at eight years old with her family. They're Ill illegal immigrants. And her goal is to help her family stay in the United States. They're about to be deported. And this is her last chance. She's off to a lawyer to help them out. And on the way, she meets Daniel. And Daniel is a Korean American boy. His, his parents legally immigrated before he and his brother were born and he wants to be a poet but his parents want him to be a doctor and he is on his way to an interview with um for college to get into college to become a medical student daniel is of course at heart a poet and natasha is at heart a scientist and they bump into each other, and this is the story about their falling in love in one day. Is it possible or not? Daniel is setting out to prove that it is true they have fallen in love. So I'm going to read you just a little bit of this book. It was an absolutely marvelous book, and it's told in different perspectives, mostly between Natasha and Daniel, but you also get an occasional break in from other characters whose lives they intersect and just some odd little chapters about like background and history. So it's, it's really pretty cool and different. So I'm just going to read you the prologue, which is just about that long. And the chapters are really short, so it makes for a very, very quick read. Ready for this, Rami? Prologue. Carl Sagan said that if you want to make an apple pie from scratch, you must first invent the universe. When he says from scratch, he means from nothing. He means from a time before the world even existed. If you want to make an apple pie from nothing at all, you have to start with the Big Bang and the expanding universes. Neutrons, ions, atoms, black holes, suns, moons, ocean tides, the Milky Way, Earth, evolution, dinosaurs, extinction level events, platypuses, Homo erectus, Cro-Magnon man, etc. You have to start at the beginning. You must invent fire. You need water and fertile soil and seeds. You need cows and people to milk them, and more people to churn that milk into butter. You need wheat and sugar cane and apple trees. You need chemistry and biology. For a really good apple pie, you need the arts. For an apple pie that can last for generations, you need the printing press and the industrial revolution, and maybe even a poem. To make a thing as simple as an apple pie, you have to create the whole wide world. Now, to find out what an apple pie has to do with two teenagers falling in love, I'm not going to tell you. You have to read the book. So get it. Enjoy it. It has been made into a movie. It's available out there. But I recommend, as usual, reading the book first. Enjoy. And if you liked my video, remember to like, subscribe, share, and maybe in the comments tell me about another book I should read or something you like. Or maybe you read this book and want to tell me a little bit about it there. See you next time.